Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gade. Welcome to today. It's going to be an awesome day in the Lord. It is Monday, the 11th. I am so excited because this word of encouragement and hope is just going to super bless you. And it is such an awesome way to start the week. And I am so excited about that. I hope that this word of encouragement blesses you as much as it blesses me knowing it. Hey, Donna, good morning. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. So awesome to have you on here. And hey, Sue Gailey, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. And just FYI, if y'all can't ever join in my videos, y'all don't have to post it on the video. If you're going to watch the replay and not watch the present video, you don't have to post it on the video, okay? So let's look at what God is going to share. Hey, Janice, God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Hey, Sharon, I don't have my glasses, but my vision is getting better in Jesus' name where I'm not going to have to need my glasses much longer when I'm on my walks. And so let me just share this. It's going to super bless you. And I'm going to do a reference to my book, Rev 22.2, The Watchman, God's Lifeguard. Rev 22.2, God's Lifeguards, which is part of the Watchman series. And so again, my name is, my maiden name is Robin Mead Ward, and Mead means rear guard, rear watchman, and Ward means front guard, front watchman, okay? I'm just going to let this man pass by before I get on this sidewalk. And so in Rev 22.2, I talk about the bees, and I talk about that in each and every one of us is a bacteria. It's a metallic bacteria. It's a bacterium. And so, yes, you have metallic bacteria in your body, and it has a purpose. You know, God fearfully and wonderfully makes us. And that metallic bacteria, and it's just a little bit, okay? It's not like the kind that will give you poisoning. It's not like metallic poison, okay? And the whole purpose of, the, of this bacteria, this metallic bacteria, is to keep you balanced with this earth. This earth has an electromagnetic field, and if we didn't have this bacteria, this metallic bacteria, it's in our brain, it's in our organs, it's all over our body. It's not only in us, but it's also in bees, it's in other insects, it's in all living insects and creatures. And the whole purpose of it is so that we're not falling down, okay? Because of this electromagnetic field in the earth, we're not tilted over, but it pulls upon our person to keep us balanced, okay? And if you hear the word balanced, put it in here in the comments. I want to see if you're going to hear this word balanced. Balanced is the word of the day. The thing that's happening is, and I talk about this in Rev 22 too, with the bees especially, that you're seeing the bees have issues and they can't fly in certain areas because of the frequencies that are coming from electronic power lines, uh, radio towers, telephone towers, those things are constantly sending out frequencies. And as a result, it totally messes up the bee's ability to fly straight in that area. And it's really hurting the population of the bees. Many things are hurting the population of the bees. But let us learn from this. Let us be balanced, B-E-E. -E. Thank you, Donna. Let us be, B-E-E, -E, balanced, okay? And so this is what God showed me. He wants me to share with you today. And I'm gonna share a couple of other things as well. And so let's look at those frequencies that are coming from the radio towers, the telephone towers, the power lines, from everything that there is, okay? Like everything sends out frequencies, okay? And so let's look at that as Satan is the messenger of the air, okay? The stranger's voice is constantly sending out frequencies and it is of this present age. It is of this world. But can you find the word, the Lord, while you're in this world, you're in the world, but you're not of it. If you take world, you have word if you take out L, and if you take out W, you have Lord with all the letters that are in there that can compose it. But also with the earth, if you take the H and you put it at the front, you have heart. And so while you're here, you're looking for the Lord, the word, the word who is the Lord, and you're looking for God's heart. That is 
1 Corinthians 2, 16, which my book, Mindfulness, The Mind of Christ, get it and tell your friends, is all about. It is about 1 Corinthians 2, 16, that we have the mind of Christ, the very intentions and purposes of the Lord's heart. Amen. And so this bacteria, this metallic bacteria, I think of Jeremiah 1, 16 through 18, and how God says, Jeremiah, you're going to stand against the kings, against the priests, against the people of this present age, and you're going to speak my word. And if you don't speak it, Jeremiah, I'm going to allow their stares, their faces to overtake you. And I talk about that in God's Firewall School of the Prophet session for the spirit of knowledge about stares and emotional faces, which trigger the amygdala, which is the strongest place of fear conditioning and fear memories, okay? And so the prophet had to be balanced, okay? He could not look at this world, the circumstances of the world. He had to find the Lord, and he found the Lord in the word that he brought to him. And I think about that bacteria, that metallic bacteria that God's put all throughout our organs and in insects that keeps us from falling over, that that electromagnetic field of this earth pulls on, that the heart of the Father pulls on us spiritually for us to walk in a balanced life because there are so many people. I see more Christians that are in balance, especially in the charismatic arena, and I'm not trying to put down that arena and saying that it's that whole arena, but it's more about emotions and there's no balance in the word. And it's not truly about the Lord, but it's about the seductions of the flesh and the emotions. And there's no accountability, but there is a use of license for emotions and the seductions of emotions to twist God's word and live an imbalanced life. And that's not what we want. So we want the balanced life, okay? So the enemy, if we're not careful, the stranger's voice will send frequencies through other people, through circumstances that we're not reading correctly. I talk about this in chapter four of mindfulness, the mind of Christ. When I talk about the second conceptual element of the language of fruit, and fruit is an acronym for feelings, reading, unconscious intuitiveness, and thoughts. Those four conceptual elements is what makes up the language of fruit. And so in reading, and I'm going to try to get that up no later than tomorrow, okay, session 12, for book coaching for those of y'all who are registered. And so reading is reading others and circumstances. And reading actually comes from the Germanic word rattan. It is also where we get the English word R-E-D-E, red, are you ready, okay? And it means to guesstimate. It means to guess. It means to advise. It means to interpret. And so our self-image is constantly reading others and circumstances all day long. And we're reflecting ourselves in those circumstances and in other people. It is called Luke 6, 42. Pull the beam out of your eye before you try to pull the splinter out of someone else's eye, okay? And so when we look at Jeremiah 1 and we see this metallic bacteria, God tells Jeremiah, look, you're going to be so strong in my word, and I'm summarizing it, okay? You're going to be so strong in my word that I am going to be that frequency, that voice, that word that comes to you, that keeps you balanced. And I'm bringing in these terms for quantum physics because I want to make a purpose and a point. And also, I have many students that are in college and also many professors that watch my videos. And I want to make bring applicability to them so they can relate to it, okay? And so in the invisible realm of the spirit, the things that we cannot see, God's thoughts coming towards us, Jeremiah 29, 11, Mechashabah, his that we are his invention, we are his device, we are his thoughts. That's actually what it means in Hebrew. That we are his device. <laughs> we are his device to function in balance to the call to which he has called us. And so when we look at God's thoughts coming towards our person, they're coming in the invisible realm as frequencies and they hit our person. And it's compared to that bacteria, that mactella bacteria that hits our person that causes us to be balanced where we're not falling down. While we're walking, like while I'm walking, if I did not have that metallic bacteria in my body, in my brain, in my organs, in my heart, 
you know, if I did not have that in my body, I would be falling down and people would be going, what is wrong with her? <laughs> okay. And so God has that in us for a purpose. But now let's look at that metallic bacteria as in Jeremiah 1 verses 16 through 18. And God says, Jeremiah, I'm going to cause you to be so balanced that you're going to have such truth to stand against the kings of this present age, against the priests, against the people. What kings, what priests, what people that are of the world? They can't see the Lord. They can't see the Lord of the word and they don't have his heart. And so they're gonna receive the messages of this present age, which by the way, is going to cause them to be rude. And let me just set you free right here. Listen, don't be surprised when people are rude to you because they're sinners. They're of this world. So they don't have the resource within their person to have manners all the time, to be polite because they're after the things of this present age and they don't walk in balance. And so God tells the prophet Jeremiah, look, I'm going to cause you to be a fortified city, an iron pillar, a bronze wall. And so let me ask you, what, meta what elements of the periodic table would you say that metal and bronze are? Ding, 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 metal, okay? And also, in, and I talk about the wild ox anointing in Micah uh, 4, 13, and the wild ox is composed of iron, brass, and um, iron and brass slash bronze. And there's, there's a reason, and I talk about the elements of the wild ox and compare it to Tesla's conduction in, induction motor, and it's so powerful because the same elements that make up the wild ox <coughs> are what is in Tesla's induction motor. And that revelation right there is so powerful. But let me get to the point. What is the point? They're made of metals. They're made of metals. Is that not powerful? Oh my gosh, there's a dead raccoon. I didn't notice it on the way over here. Oh, gross. Oh my gosh, it's an armadillo. <laughs> oh my gosh, it stinks. Oh my gosh, don't want to show you. Maybe you saw it in my other thing, but oh my gosh. Isn't that good? I was so focused on y'all and getting the word out that I didn't notice that dead armadillo that absolutely stinks <clears throat> until the last minute. So when we take our eyes off the word and the Lord, okay, we don't have God's heart. We don't walk in balance. We don't hear his message. Do you hear this saints of God? Because so many people, I cannot express how many people are so insensitive, so disrespectful. They have no honor for others. And they just think about themselves. They're just so caught up in themselves. Look, what if I was caught up in myself? I wouldn't be doing these videos. I wouldn't be doing meetings for free with people. I wouldn't be doing phone calls for free. There is a lot, there are a lot of people that I just, God tells me call, God tells me meet and get minister. I wouldn't be doing that, okay? I would just be thinking about Robin, 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 Robin. And I would be so disrespectful, so insensitive to other people. But because I hear the Lord, because I have his heart, I have his message and I know what the father is saying to do his works and I meet and I call and I minister and I do Facebook lives. I do fast that the Lord calls me to. I do teaching series, which by the way, we're returning to the armor of God today. Amen. I love that teaching series. I first did it in 2007. And so God wants to encourage you. Okay. That if our wonderful God, Romans 1 20, the God of the invisible shows himself in the visible realm. If he has put metallic bacteria in your body all throughout and its sole purpose is to keep you from falling down while you're walking on this earth that is, I'm not going to even go there. Okay. <laughs> but while you're walking on this earth, how much more 
is his word, the Lord of the word, the word of the Lord in your heart, keeping you balanced in your walk into the call of Christ. God bless you. I love you. Have an awesome weekend and be balanced in Jesus name.